I just spent a little over 300k renown on these event alpha packs and still have this much left over. Let's go over how to get renown fast. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Different Breed and in today's video, we're going to be going over the best strategy to get renown. If you've never been here before, you can expect videos like this that go into strategies within games to get you better and or further in them. Let's start off by going over what we will be seeing. First, I will be going into a slight rant about my other renowned videos and we will show some wrong tactics and then we will go over what we have, so what we know, and the new strategy that I have learned and I'll give actual proof of why you should be using this strategy over others. First and foremost, I have to complain about those who don't watch the whole thing but comment questions or suggestions that exist within the video. Like really, just watch the whole thing. Also. If you already do have a better strat, please do tell me. I don't know everything here, but actually having proof would make your claims more believable. Math proof. And if you're just here to say, just buy Renown with real money, please don't even bother. I'll tell you now. I'm gonna ignore those comments. I hear them all the time. Now, let's go over these strats with the maths that I was just mentioning for proofs. We can start with everybody's favorite. Just play casual. <laughs> well, to prove you guys wrong, I ran this with a crew of three, and out of nine games, five of them, we went the complete distance. So the majority of our games took the longest that they could have. Out of nine games, our average time per game was 16 minutes and 17 seconds. Getting an average of 228 renown with an average of not quite four times an hour, we're looking at around 843 renown an hour which is utter trash. If you have followed my renowned videos or seen at least one other one, you would know that this is trash and not the quickest way to get renowned. But Breed, you're terrible at games. True. You don't know how to win properly. True. I'm absolutely amazing and the best at this game. Probably false, but go on. I can always 3-0 every single casual game, so yeah, it's totally worth doing. I gain more renown and I have fun doing it, rather than just doing the same thing grinding it out over and over. Now, okay, I get half of that. Casual probably is more funner than grinding out T-Hunt, sure, but it's most certainly not faster. So, Mr. Diamond with Diamond Pro Squad that never loses ever, let's say you get 3-0 all games. Forever. Our best game was 9 minutes and 49 seconds long. That would give us about 6 times an hour, which would yield 1,662 renown per hour, taking the average renown of that specific game. Yeah, you should stick around. You'll see how trash that really is. Also, I know there are still those of you who are like, yeah, but ranked is even better. I can 4-0 every single one of my games. Somehow, I'm not diamond yet, but not only is it fun, but you're getting better at the game too. All right, sweet. You should go to land tourneys, smile. But since several of you have said it in the past and will prob say it again in the future, doing a 4-0 in ranked takes roughly 20 minutes, meaning we can play three games an hour. Now what's interesting is that if I 3-1, I get less renowned by like 20. I average about 364 when I 4-0. So I don't know what you guys are saying when you get 8 to 900 per game. But yeah, I have seen Renown upwards to 420 before. Nothing near or even over 500. So if we take what I averagely make, we are looking at 1,094 Renown per hour. Yeah, if you want to get Renown fast, there's facts with proof saying ranked isn't the way either. I feel like I just made one of these videos as well. With my usual gaps between these videos, it is pretty soon. However, I made that video and people brought information in front of me. Granted, most of them were really rude about it actually, but figured after several people saying something, I had to check out this other strat and info that people were saying. But before I checked out the new strat, let's take a look at the current strat. People kept saying that you can finish it quicker, so I had to take a look at it. And you know what? They were right. You actually can. Before, we had to wait until one minute and eight seconds. Now we can finish at, I believe, 50 seconds. I wasn't able to finish at exactly 50, but I did finish one game at 51 seconds and got full renown gain. So I think 50 is the actual cutoff. This allowed us to get our average time down to 61 seconds, getting us just shy of 60 times an hour at 59 times. And 
With our average renown being 107, we would come out on top with 6,354 renown an hour. So when doing the strat explained in this super old video, you can now finish at 50 seconds. Make sure to drop the hostage at the point when the clock turns to 45 seconds since the extraction time takes 5 seconds. Yes, that video is roughly 2 years old, and yes, it still works exactly the way that it is shown there, other than some gadgets and other things. Otherwise, I would have made a new video entirely. There's no sense in making a new video when there isn't new value being added to you. Speaking of new, let's check out this new strategy. But before we actually do, I want to remind you that if you are finding value out of this content, let me know by hitting that like button. And while you're there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any fresh content when it comes out. Also, since you can't get full renowned games alone and you need a squad, if you need some people, you can go ahead and hop into my Discord and find some people to play with on any system. I got a whole category just dedicated on Siege and channels dedicated on Renown for each platform as well. And I would say that they're decently active. The link for the Discord will be in the description. The new one is going over to Favela. Still extraction. I was told by somebody that they finished this all the time in 15 to 20 seconds getting the full Renown that I was getting with my other strategy. I put this to the test. Turns out that person lied. Like a lot. There is no way you can finish this in that short of time, let alone finish and get Renown. The cutoff for the strategy is, I believe, 40. I was able to confirm 41 seconds gives you Renown and 39 gives you no Renown. With the goal of reaching 40 seconds, we were able to get these games done on an average of 52 seconds, which would allow us to do this 69 times an hour. <laughs> We got on average 105 renown per game, so slightly lower than the main strat, but being able to do this more times an hour, we actually yielded more at 7,266 an hour. That's almost 1,000 increase per hour. That's amazing. This now has taken the top spot to become the fastest way to gain renown. And it's super easy to do as well. Spawn in the school lot. There are four possible locations for the hostage to spawn. Two downstairs, two upstairs. You can do a simple run and find the hostage quickly. My favorite op to use in this situation is sledge. That way you can break through everything you need in order to get to the hostage fast and get him out of there. After you get the hostage, there is only one spot for the extraction. So just walk to it and make sure you don't drop the hostage or step into the zone before the clock hits 35 seconds. Otherwise, you'll finish too fast and won't get anything for your efforts. If you need me to go more in depth with the strategy and take an entire video on this process, let me know. If enough people show interest, I will for sure make a complete tutorial on the strategy. We also tried other maps to see if any of them would pull through to be better like Coastline, Oregon, Plain, Tower, but none of them were. Favela for sure is the far winner. If you have any better strats than this, let me know, either in the comments, on Discord, on Twitter, or on my streams. Oh, also, yes, you can use boosters in ranked and casual, but you could also use those boosters in these strats, so that argument is null and void. If you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on anything new. Until next time, stay different.